The iTIG-3 features a highly accurate leakage current measurement for insulation resistance testing. Leakage current accuracy is 2% with a 10 picoamp resolution. This means if the tester displays in microamps, you see five digits after the decimal. The instrument will calculate megohms with currents down to 0 0.0005 microamps or 0.5 nanoamps. Ohm's law states IR equals voltage divided by current. For example, if the test voltage is 1000 volts, IR can be calculated up to 2000 gigaohms. Let's compare that to tester X, which is only accurate to 0.1 microamps or 100 nanoamps. In this case, IR can only be calculated up to 10 gigaohms, a difference by a factor of 200. Small changes in leakage currents mean big differences in IR values when the current is low. Let's take a look at PI, or polarization index, where PI equals megohms at 10 minutes divided by megohms at 1 minute. For motors with low leakage currents, if the current falls below the minimum current limit, the PI may be inaccurate or not calculated. For example, the ITIG-3 has a minimum limit of 0 0.0005 microamps to which current measurements are accurate, and tester X has a minimum limit of 0.1 microamps. Let's say both instruments measure current at 1 minute as 0.1 microamps. And then say at 10 minutes, the ITIG-3 measures 0.02 microamps, well within its range. IR is calculated as 50 gigaohms, and therefore PI equals 5. Let's say tester X measures 0.05 microamps, a level at which it is not accurate. In physical terms, 0.05 versus 0.02 microamps is a small difference in current, but IR equals 20 gigaohms, PI equals 2. The effect on PI is dramatic. A small difference in leakage current means a big difference in results when the current is low. Which PI value would you trust?